Welcome to the world of World of Warcraft, <clears throat> a new series that I'm going to be doing over the next few months with little videos just talking about the flora and fauna of zones and talking about the zones themselves. Um, and even I will be talking about cities and I'll go into depth about the major races of the World of Warcraft. We've got Night Elves, Blood Elves, Orcs, Humans, Goblins, Worgen, um, Torrens, Gnomes, uh, Trolls, and Dwarves. I think that's all. But I'll talk to them, see where they come from, try to break down who is the the real... who is the proto-hominid. Who started the evolutional train, and, you know, all this stuff. I, I believe there's different splinters in, in Azeroth. It is very weird as a... Uh, Earth... Um, Homo sapien, um, archaic Homo sapien, pushed out the Neanderthals and other hominids at the time, and pretty much just outpacing them. It is really weird because the, you, if you apply that to Azeroth, that same thing would happen where the Night Elves would sooner or later take over, or, or somebody else would take over. So in the Outlands is, is another planet where we have the Orcs and the Draenei, I believe? And uh, where they came from, or Draenei come from another completely planet. Over here, we, on Azeroth, we have Kalimdor, Northrend, Eastern Kingdoms, and Pandaria. Pandaria is where you have your pandas. Kalimdor is where the Night Elves and the Torrin live. And, uh, Eastern Kingdoms is where you have the Undead, where the Orcs came in to the, to the Dark Portal. The Dwarves, the Gnome, and the Blood Elves. Um, and the Trolls seem to be everywhere, which is a very weird thing. They are the only race, <coughs> not the main race, but there's a race of Trolls on every continent. Um, it might be due to some sort of event, some sort of exploration. Um, we know that uh, Kalimdor was very left alone by Torrens and Night Elves until the until the events of Warcraft 3, with an exodus from Eastern Kingdoms to Kalimdor to get for Thrall's Horde to get away from the the um, <coughs> the humans. Um, but a little bit of history: Kalimdor, Northrend, Eastern Kingdom, and Pandaria did used to be one super continent, continent, and it did fracture. Um, not due to continental drift. There is no continental drift in this planet, uh, as it is flat. <coughs> there is um, mag um, tectonic uh, uh, magma, so we will find areas where there is volcanoes, but it could be, w when we go down into the depths, we will, um, of Maelstrom, where we enter the, uh, the Deep Helm, which is a cavern inside Azeroth, where Deathwing was uh, held, and when he escaped during the events of Cataclysm, caused a fracture. <coughs> Splitting the world in half, or no, he didn't split the world in half, but he he uh, opened up the maelstrom and uh, and fractured parts of Eastern Kingdom, Eastern Kingdoms, and Kalimdor. So, this is a really formative video. Don't you might learn something today, or tomorrow, or yesterday. But uh, stay tuned. Uh, I will be having short videos um, over the next few months. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm Caboose967. I have a degree in anthropology and minored in geology. I've done many of these videos. I'll post a link in my description of Rules of San Andreas, <coughs> where I take take a few episodes and look at the um, the significance of um, <coughs> San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto V, and then World of Rust, where I do an ethnographical report on people of Rust on a high pop server and find out that. Um, <coughs> Well, there's actually some nice people in the game. But, uh, thanks for watching, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.